Welcome back to Timber Bonners. The only beaver soap that has its own theme tune. This is season six, episode two. And now they've been delivered. I hope you're watching with your beaver plushie. They add to the immersion. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timber Borders. We are taking on the smallest map in the game and the hardest difficulty in the game. Uh, which means I should probably pause and check exactly where I got to last time before we get too far and die. Because we wouldn't want that to happen while our little beaver friends are watching. Yeah, some of the makeshift plushies have now arrived. So hopefully, if you if you did order one, you'll be watching this with yours. Anyway, yeah, at the end of the last episode, I did get a little bit cocky and I feel like I should probably try and focus on expanding like the water storage, probably the size of our farm area as well. I mean, since we're going to be a bit cramped for space, I should probably look at trying to make more efficient food because I think, yeah, if I get a fermenter, then I I can turn some of those foods into like more useful food. Oh, I tell you what, the bottom one, four mushrooms turns to six mushroom food if I can ferment it. But I think I need this to get mushrooms, which requires, oh man, it requires like every resource known to man. Steel bars, gears, wooden planks. And I haven't unlocked any of those yet. Okay, where did we get to? I... <laughs> We had the, the beaver grinding his teeth because he broke them. That's Kalishnikov. But they're fixed now, so you can continue chopping down trees. Oi, oi, who's that? Who, who is that? Little baby Sleazley just been born and is now age zero. Oh, by the way, did anyone get the clue from last time for my little riddle? The answer was one. So that is what this district will be called. Just, just one. Anyway, you have no trees to chop down. Who's that? Kingly named engineer. Yeah, so we're going to pause you for now. What have you just been promoted to? Oh, log pumper. That is what we like to see in this series. Lots of wood pumping. Anyway, you've got two beavers working the farms. That seems to be going pretty well. Yeah, the breeding pod is up and running again. So that is also good. Yeah, so the forester, we've put all the logs in. We need to work on the planks. So we need seven planks. And I did build this last time, the industrial lumber mill. Now, the trouble is this requires power. And because I'm trying to save space with all of this area, because because that's, that's the only area of green. So I need to grow on all the green I can, I think. Hence, we will not be using water wheels. We unfortunately need to shame a beaver. And oh, for some reason, kingly named engineer has volunteered. <laughs> to be the first shamed beaver. Okay, well, let's unpause that then. We'll up the priority. Okay, so two beavers are going to go in there. Okay, so in the morning, which is there's a few hours remaining, we should start making planks. So I hope you don't spend the evening in the pub, guys, because you're going to have to wake up early. By the way, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit concerned about this beaver. Baby Sleazy has just slept since he's been born. <laughs> I mean, he is homeless. <laughs> Everyone else lives in here, the barracks. But there's no room for a, a zero-year-old little baby beaver. So yeah, I will build another barracks at one point. The trouble is there's... Well, you can see there's pretty much no trees left on the map. We've chopped them all down. So we really need to get this built. So I've had to up the priority of these two so that we always have jobs. So here is Kingly Named Engineer who <laughs> sleeped on the street. And now he's going to get shamed, 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 shamed. I'm not sure why you're being shamed, but you're actually quite a good beaver volunteering yourself. But yeah, they're providing power to this building, which hopefully means we will get some planks on the go. And then we can get the forester down and build some more trees. Because at the moment, we've only got four logs. Not ideal. Anyway, we actually, we have our first plank. So that is good. So if we come down to this forester, yeah, you can see they are being put in there. So if we just fast forward time, we should be pretty good. As I said before, though, I need to be a bit careful about the water situation because the last dry season was pretty brutal. It was very, very long and they're only going to get longer. Now, unfortunately, as with everything, it requires logs to build 15 of them and um, i'd like to get a medium tank but that takes 30 planks as well as 20 gears and we're not making gears at all yet so i think that's a way off we're gonna have to stick with the small tanks for quite a while now uh, what i might do perhaps add some water down there like the storage because so i feel like this area is mostly going to be industrial and they're all going to be connected together so i'll plop those there oh anyway anyway slow down the time because look we have the forester tony mont four and four 
we need you to get some trees planted. So what I'm thinking, I don't think it's worth growing birch trees because in nine days you get one log from them. Whereas like a pine in 12 days, just a little bit longer, you get two logs. I mean, the oak is 30 days for eight logs. That is the dream. Let's get a load of birch down here. I know I said no birch, but do as I say, not as I do. I mean, I probably should have shoved them this side, really. But this is where the oaks are going to go. So that's quite a lot of trees that are going to be planted. I'm going to tell the forester, prioritize the birch, because then we've got wood quicker. And then hopefully I can just have this bottom corner for my trees. And up here, I can do more food. And then to be honest, I may actually need more food. I don't think the kohlrabis are doing it so if i were to shove another farmhouse and is there another food i can eat raw no i'll need a fermenter shove a fermenter up there tell it to make fermented cassavas but low prioritize this then we can plant a strip of cassavas okay so that is a huge planting area that is good and um, now i've got a few planks on me as well i've got eight planks let's get some steps on the go i reckon let's get up to these logs so wooden stairs we'll unlock those for 70 science then and with a lumberjack flag up there, we can chop these trees down. Once I say chop them down. Right. And then, oh no, oh no. Three days till the drought is incoming. I feel like we should try and get some more water storage. So I've paused these. We're not making any more planks, but we have no logs remaining. Let's pause you, Labradog. And if we unpause one of these, that's a few trees that have grown down here, which means we should get some more logs, which hopefully means we'll build these water storages. But uh, honestly, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Uh, we are out of kohlrabis as well. That's not good. Where's the farming beavers? Farmer Envoy Extreme. What are you... Oh, he's planting over that side. Okay, what I might want to say to those guys, uh, prioritize harvesting just because you got loads of kohlrabis up here. Um, we are sort of slacking on food though. I mean, they are collecting them now, but I think it's probably worth unpausing these gatherer flags. So Labrador and Kingly Named Engineer, there and there, they should gather all those berries, which is good. And hopefully we'll be prepared for the next dry season. I'm a bit worried how long it's gonna last oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. stop 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 no no scientist nate died of old age oh what he was a resident scientist oh the inventor hut sits empty we're currently not making any science we've only got 15 scientist nate oh that is absolutely devastating i didn't even notice i hope that wasn't on screen and like everyone's seen it apart from me uh, there's like little beaver plushies watching oh hang on hang on i think the berry storage is full yeah completely full of berries perhaps i'll change the kohlrabi's one to store berries because like there's like no kohlrabi's to store i should probably swap that one to the kohlrabi's just in case we do get enough that we can store them yeah, how's the log situation there's a tree here that can be cut down who's on that klishnikov where are you mate here he is he's on it he's on it get your teeth stuck into that log nice one. Oh, there's also loads of birch over this side okay we're i think we might be okay to build a few of these water storages the trouble is i need them built like now because our water storage is completely full say what then let's get another lumberjack flag on the go down here and then you can see we've got one day remaining we need to chop these trees down fast which means we need more logs which means we need the staircase built All right beavers are carrying logs about so hopefully this staircase will be made and we can chop these oaks down oh no someone else died of old age brandon riley how old do the beavers actually get to? I feel like they're not that old. Worth noting though, we did have another birth. Chris, welcome to the colony, matey. Now, in case you're wondering, they're all named after my patrons and I'm working through like from the top tiers down to the lower tiers. Right, okay, good news. We have the stairs in. Let's super high prioritize that. Peter Schmolfeld, pretty sure I pronounced your name right. They're going to go chop some of those down. So I can probably... Yeah, there's no more trees down here. So Sleazley, you're fired. You sat on your butt down there. You are also fired. Oh, look, we have a water storage. That is good. The next one, they are bringing logs over as they're being chopped down. I probably should get another lumberjack flag up there. Super high prioritized because this little beaver here, Peter, he's chopping those big old oaks down all on his own. All right, okay. We got two beavers chopping down the logs. Let's super high prioritize this. I also need to high prioritize these log pumpers. We only had one log pumper. That was actually schoolboy error. Thankfully, though, though, they're pretty full. Yeah, oh, they're completely full. Although it's literally the end of the day. Oh, no. That is it. That is it. It's the last working day before the dry season. As the sun rises, you'll see the drought has started. There is no more water up there. But uh, the dry season's going to be six days long. That is quite a long time to go without water. But yeah, one other thing I sort of forgot 
forgot about. The range from this forester, it only reaches down to that corner. That's why he hasn't been planting anything. All these trees over this side, they can't get planted by that forester. Oh, that's really silly, Matt. I'm going to have to build another forester over this side. Oh, no bad. Because they take seven planks and ten logs. Anyway, we'll shove it in down there. That does mean we'll have to turn on the power wheel and the lumber mill again. Yeah, but I think we'll stop pumping water for now. We've got enough. We can pause those to gather of flags as well. That's two jobs. Reduce the number of builders. Right, and then we're making planks again. So that is good. Once this forester hut's built, we should be in a better place. I can't believe I did that. Honestly, cannot believe it. Because yeah, if I want to replant these oaks, I'm going to need another forester hut up here. Oh man. Right, okay. We have quite a few planks now. I'll tell you what, could be worth pausing these unless any other buildings I need require them. Yeah, I've paused those. I think we've got, you know, up here, look, we've got three unemployed beavers. Let's up the builders and let's get some more science on the go. So science just takes 12 logs. They don't need power so I can shove them sort of out the way. So that should be pretty good at getting me science. Then I want to think about that medium tank which needs gears. Gears needs a hundred science to unlock. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to increase my industrial area by quite a lot. I need quite a few shaming wheels. Let's unlock the gear workshop. Shove that there. That should share like all that power together. Then to be honest, I think I can just shove another power wheel there. That should get all those going. I can just move the power wheel later on if I want to expand. So that will be a fairly decent industrial area. But now, oh look! The drought's over. Ah, ah, pause. Our water's... I've got very distracted then. The water's run out. Labradog died of old age. We had a new birth of Koyokoi. He's now four. I've missed four birthdays. Sorry, man. <laughs> but yeah, let's unpause these water pumps because uh, that could kill us. Oh, look, and our, our new farm is built as well. I don't actually need that to do anything for now. So I will just pause that. But, oh, look down here. The birches have grown. They're the ones that I planted. But let's unpause a lumberjack flag. Okay, we finally have wood again and we have water. Okay, we're in a good place. We're in a good place. That was quite an easy drought. I was a little bit worried for a sec. It all is good. Up here, there are more trees as well. So I could potentially get a lumberjack flag up here. Maybe a gather a flag for those berries. Oh, what? We got another dry season incoming. <laughs> okay, at least this time we have loads and loads of water storage, so we should be okay. Maybe worth getting another log pumper just to ensure they're all filled up. Now, I did actually leave space. You can see how I planted. I made sure there was space for these log pumpers. And oh, look, the forest is done as well. There's so much done. This is awesome. Okay, super high prioritized the forester. Koyo Koi, you've just grown up. Your first job is to plant trees. Trees. Probably seems a bit backwards seeing as you're a beaver. You don't have to be chopping down trees. But still, it is needed. Trust me. Okay, the other thing is my, my colony isn't really growing. We're sort of always at 12 beavers. So it could be worth adding another breeding pod. So let's do that. The downside with breeding pods is they use up a lot of water. So I do have to be a little bit careful. But uh, since you got a load of a load of space down there and in that gap, I'm just going to go mental with the water storage, I think. Okay, nice. Kokoi is planting the trees down there. They're only six and they're planting trees. <laughs> Uh, but once these birches are done, they'll move on to the oaks and then we should be good for wood for like the rest of our journey. Unfortunately, we have cut down all the oaks up here. So the wood income should slow down. But I have just turned on this person, Magmarel. Don't take that out of context, by the way. And now they are chopping down those trees up there. So I think we're probably fine for wood. That is decent. Perhaps I can like... High prioritize this fermenter. What do we need? Oh, just three more logs. Yeah, high prioritize that. Let's get it done. Because as we learned before, the more nutrition they have, the more different sorts of food, the higher their lifespan and energy and move speed and stuff. Anyway, one and a half days to go to the end of the dry season. We've got four log pumpers pumping. You can see the storage is starting to fill up. So hopefully we'll be okay no matter how long the dry season is. It should only be like pretty similar, maybe seven days max. Food is amazing. Thanks to the berries. Let's pause these two because no one is working in there. Pause, pause. And then, oh no, the great engineer Khan died of old age. We're losing all of our beavers. We're down to just 10 workers now. I really need to get another breeding pod. Yeah, there you go. Who's working on that? Susan. Good work, Susan. Um, and as the sun sets, little do our beavers know the next morning the water will stop 
flowing. I mean, they should know. I have told them quite a few times. I like my editors. They never listen to me. They just do whatever they want to make me sound stupid. You don't need us for that. Anyway, the drought has started. Oh, it's only five days, this drought. Okay, that is quite useful. Not gonna lie. I will pause all of these for now. I'll keep an eye on the water. If it drops too low, then we can start pumping again. But uh, for now, let's get on our dry season jobs, which is being inventors. Although, why, why is no one working in that? What is everyone working as? Oh, we got four builders. Yeah, let's turn those way down. We only need one builder. We need someone in that shaming wheel. We need someone fermenting because we do have... Are these the cassavas? Cassava, yes. Yeah, we've already picked 34 of them. That is good. Although, what's in this one? Oh, there's eight in there as well. Decent. So, it should be fine to ferment cassavas for a while. I don't know what... Ev what is everyone doing? Where are all the bees? There should be 10 jobs. Oh, yeah, we've got the lumberjacks up here. I'll tell you what. Let's let's pause those lumberjacks because if you chop trees down when, when they're like that, they literally just die. Like, they don't come back. Whereas, at least these ones, the little seedlings still grow. But yeah, who's actually in the shaming wheel this time? It is Cliff producing just the right amount of energy for our very efficient looking fermenter. Look at those balls go. Let's speed it up. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so that is making us fermented cassavas. We can only store 60, so it may, may be worth building some storage. So we should probably build it somewhat out the way up. Here should be good, because then we can build on top later. And that is pretty good. I think next up I'll say try and build the gear workshop and a few more of these power wheels because I would really like to get some gears on the goat. Uh, by the way, I've got some sad news. Magma Rel died of old age. They were 51. They didn't wake up this morning. I mean, it's a good way to go, to be fair, but oh, we're down to just 10 beavers. Now, the good news is Montana Williams has been born and I Am Destructor Man has reached the age of six so they can now work. They're actually unemployed at the moment. What job should we give them? I feel like chopping down trees is probably the most required thing at the moment so go chop that down oh by the way check out the planting down here the oaks are in hell of a job koi koi water's still looking good food's looking incredible and because beavers are eating kohlrabis and fermented cassavas uh, they've hit a new well-being score of eight which means 10 percent working speed five percent move speed and 20 percent life expectancy decent anyway are there any other easy wins potentially wet fur maybe a campfire as well i mean there's all these aesthetic ones i could do it that's all i'm saying i could i mean we've got little gaps down there pretty sure beavers can build down so let's have a look in decoration 20 science to unlock a shrub we can shove it down there 60 to unlock a roof we can shove <laughs> We can shove that down there. Seems so pointless, but I think it is actually clever. Like if I shove a little roof there, can you see the orange? That covers the barracks. That's where my beavers sleep. So because nearly all my beavers go in there, they will get that perk. The trouble with the roof is it needs one plank. I am going to do that though. Let's just turn this on for a short second just so we can make a plank. All right, there we go. We have made a plank so we can pause that again. And then yes, the roof has been made. <laughs> Now you see your beavers have the aesthetics perk, the roof one. Now their well-being score is nine. Decent. We just got to get the shrub built. Twelve logs. How many do I have? Oh, we're back down to zero. And all the trees up here have now been chopped down. Okay, so we can pause that. And oh, the drought has ended. So the water is returning. We have a waterfall again. Now, there it is. And we still got 100 water remaining. That is good to know. I probably don't need all of these log pumpers turned back on. I might just turn two on for now. Pause some of these scientists and then unpause these two because we have some trees to be chopped. Some birches are grown. Now, oh, I can also, I can pause you as well. Koi Koi, you've done all your planting. Go get a more useful job. I wish I could say that to like architects. <laughs> I mean, the positive is I don't know any architects to say that to, but if I did, I definitely would. By the way, check out the fermented cassavas in there. 91 stored up. That is beautiful. Okay, good news. We have a new birth. Bradley McCain. I am wondering though, should I get another breeding pod? I don't want to overdo it, but we had 100 water remaining. We've got so much food. I think I'm going to do it. Let's get another breeding pod down. You may call this cocky. I call it. I need more beavers. Like, look at the berries on the maps. They're growing absolutely everywhere so i can collect those i've got 170 
79 stored up. That is completely full of berries. But, oh, look at the birches. Look at the birches. Oh, I'll tell you what that means. I need to unpause this forester. Susan, you're back in there. Okay, next up, I've noticed the fermenter. Who is that? Kingly named engineer. They don't have any cassavas. And if you look, we have farmed most of them out. So probably worth pausing you for now. We'll make you make planks instead because we, we are finally getting some wood. Although the birches, the birches did not last long. That's not ideal. A few more trees growing up here. I'm just wondering, would it be worth adding a third area of trees? How long have these got left to grow? Oh, most of them have like 20 days left. That's not ideal. But yeah, the logs are stunting our growth. I mean, oh, oh, that's a lot of logs. Perhaps we can get up there. What would I need to get up there? I would need a load of of staircases and maybe some platforms. They cost four planks. Oh, they're so expensive. Actually, didn't I work out that was a cheap way of doing this? Where's some storage? Yeah, three logs for a small warehouse. That's way better than a platform. I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna go up that way and then to there and to there. That looks like a good way up for the fewest number of stairs. So stairs, stairs, stairs. Up this side as well. And then slightly annoying, there is a log in the way. Hopefully we can just chop that down. I put a lumberjack flag there. Yeah, that does cover the top. Okay, that is good. So cut down all the trees up there and hopefully we can get up there. The trouble is that's going to be a lot of a lot of planks trying to get up there. Still, we can we can keep on pausing these. Like Montana Williams can come over, chop those trees down. I think I'll low prioritize these buildings. Get that done first. Right, and then as the sun sets, have a look down here. The shrub is done, which means people now have the shrub aesthetic. So they're well-being level 10 now. 20% working speed. Love to see that. We've had another beaver birth as well. Tegan Holman. I think I'm gonna prioritize this breeding pod over the Stairs. Although we are now out of logs again. Oh, stupid logs. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with the oaks. They take so long. But oh, look, they have got one, one set of stairs in. That's quite good of them. But yeah, with the last of the beavers heading home, I mean, not, not all of them made it home. Heavy session, the pub, I think. Uh, I think that's a good place to leave that. This series is actually going so well. I thought I would have ruined it by now. But yeah, for now, I'll say peace, love, and tiny little maps for my beavers. Bye, guys.